And we are back and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a one-line YouTube icon design in Adobe Illustrator. It's another good example where we can learn from. I've got a smart guide that's snap to point only activated and I've got a black stroke no fill. Let me use direct angle. And now I'll drag the circle inwards to create rounded corners. You can see I've got a stroke weight of 7 selected. Now I'll use the star tool, use your arrow keys up and down until you've got only three corners, hold shift. Then rotate it, once more hold shift. You can use the select tool for that, press V if you want to select it via a short key. I'll select them both and then I'll use the top menu to align it to the center. But the triangle is a little bit off center in the original, so I'll put it to the right side just slightly. So you can see we've got two elements in this logo or in this icon that we want to create and there is no real line where we could align them together to create overlaps a good approach is to just connect them we are extending one of the lines of the element so in this case i'm going to choose the triangle for that and i extend one of the lines to connect it to the other shape and then i only have to choose a start and an ending point to create this one line effect. So I'm just going to use the pen tool for that and then I select the triangle via the selection tool, press V for that and I delete it. So I've got already a starting point in the triangle and a connection and now I need the end point and I create it on a rectangle via the pen tool so I just create another line. And now I use the shape builder tool, I hold alt and I get rid of that line. So there are some details we need to look at, for example here. We press A for the direct selection tool, I'll select it and then right click and join. And now I need a stroke menu, go to window, open it. And I'll change the corners to round join. And I definitely want to have round caps. So watch here at the end and the starting point. I change that to round. That looks fine. Let me create a background. I'll switch to drawing mode to draw behind. I'll use the rectangle tool. Swap the colors and I'll make it red. Let me select the inner icon and I'll make that white. I need to make this element white as well. And maybe I'll increase the stroke weight a little bit. So let me select it all, I'll shift and then I click on the red element so that it's deselected and then I increase the stroke weight to 12. And that's another approach to creating these one-line icon designs in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.